I wasn't expecting you, but welcome to our crib. Would you like something to drink? Tea or coffee? Yes, tea and coffee, please. Well, this is our house. Two years ago, we did a house tour when we first moved in. Yeah, and two years ago, we just did the basement, but now we're showing the entire full house. The entire full house with the ceilings and everything. I don't think we've ever shown the ceilings. That's our chandelier. When I first walked into the house, I thought that would be a perfect spot for a basketball net. Yeah. Mama B, can we get a basketball net and put it right there? No. Okay, she just vetoed it. This is what our entrance looks like. And we have this slippers basket. That's like our policy. Like even my friends know when they come in, they grab a pair of slippers. A lot of the things in this house have symbolism. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? So this chandelier and the one in my room are kind of in the shape of the world, like the globe. And yeah. just kind of reminds us the influence that we have with people around the world and to be really careful about what we do and we say because we have a big responsibility. Wow, I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. Really? Nope. So this is our living room, I guess it would be like. Isn't Living room, yeah, living or room? sitting room. I guess it's a sitting room. It's a seating room. Sitting room. We even though we room. have that sitting room and. <laughs> oh yeah, we have this sitting room over here. That's our like living room, and then this is our seating room. You'll notice the armchairs point to the window instead of being pointed in. The reason behind this is that. For about a year, we lived in a basement apartment. Yeah. And we only had one tiny window. And when it would snow, the snow would cover the window and we had no natural light. The and nature. this is also the room where family, family meetings. meetings. Yep. We turn the chairs around and the four of us sit here talking about anything and everything. And sometimes we talk for hours, right? Yeah, yeah. like two hour conversations. Life lessons, guys. Is anything off limits? No, no. Dining area. Ah, uh, here's which the was dining one area. One of the rooms that I fell in love with. Kind of feels like you're in a French cafe. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, look like at that. Hello. Hello. And this is where we filmed a lot of videos. We filmed a lot of like the gummy food versus real food oh, yeah. videos. Oh, Film a lot of challenge videos on this table. Bill Nye was right here. We've had a lot of fun experiences with this dining room. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen is just over here. Yeah, originally, in, well, in the first video, I remember this is where I started crying. Right? Yes. This is a dream of mine was to have a kitchen with huge counter space. That is a huge counter. Yeah, I think you got to do more Mama Bee cooks. Let us know in the comments if there's certain things you want to see Mama Bee make. This is my favorite part of the kitchen right here. Believe there is good in the world and then be the good. And McDonald's. Thank you, McDonald's. Thank you. Shout Whatever out to McDonald's. Have. Yes, that's the, what's it called? Like a pasta, pasta thing? La canilla. La canilla. La canilla. La canilla. You can pour water directly into the pot so you don't have to be traveling the pots anymore. Are you back kidding me? That's so I've been making ramen by bringing the pot over here? Oh, yeah, when you could have just like turned on the, the tap. You never knew that? Miss B's room. We're not going to go into too much detail, but if you actually follow her channel, but she did a- I'm going to show my new bed. I'm not going to go into detail. I just want to show my new bed. <laughs> Nice, and my old bed was so ugly. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't ugly. it wasn't ugly. I also got a little stone lamp. Look at this. So Miss B upgraded her bed sheets and she got a stone lamp. Oh, and her inspiration wall right here. Yes. You guys didn't see this from her video. I'm gonna link down below so you guys check out her channel. She did her own room tour. All right, Mr. B. I don't actually do anything in my room other than get dressed and sleep. Your your room is really the game room. So oh, yeah, it's we're really just gonna leave your bedroom out. And this is Mama Bee's room. Oh, and you guys are probably wondering, wait a second, Mama Bee has her own bedroom? Yes, and Papa Bee has his own bedroom. Mama Bee, care to explain? Cause this is gonna be very, very weird well, to here, some people. You... Yes, so this is something that we've never really shared before. And no. I guess it's good to share in the house tour. We have separate bedrooms. <gasps> what? <gasps> What? So we have separate rooms because we found out that we sleep amazing when we sleep in our own beds. Years ago, we decided I'm gonna sleep in my room at night and Mama B's gonna sleep in her room. Because you were snoring. I was snoring, you had the Jimmy legs. <laughs> There's actually a term for it. Restless leg syndrome. So she just shakes her legs uncontrollably. Not so all the time. I can't sleep. Oh, and I sleep scream. Sorry, Miss B, I gave that to you. <laughs> I know it may sound a little weird to a lot of people, but this works. This, we love each other very, yeah. very much. And I think that is a huge part of the success of our marriage is a mm -hmm. good night's sleep. Yeah, we've, we've shown our friends. We're like, well, this is Mama B's room and this is my room. And they're like, what? Trust me, it works. It's great. This is our office, study, homework room, piano. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> there it is. Very important that the kids have a separate room to do their homework, to study. Okay, and here we go down the stairs. And guess what? So sure. this is my room, guys. Yeah, this Very heck? cozy room of mine. No two of the same pillows. Like, what the heck? This is my wall of inspiration in my room, guys. Oh, right oh you're thank so you. funny. Oh, you're so thank you so much. And 
when you ran the New York Marathon. Oh, guys. I ran the New York Marathon, guys. Woo! So I, I, it's a reminder that uh, I can actually do something great if I put my mind to it. You're so sweet and kind and gentle and loving and funny and, and, and everything. Thank you, Mama Beef. <laughs> Excuse me, son. That's my guitar right there. I'm learning to play the guitar so that I can play some romantic songs for I Mama I want you Beef. to play like... Ding. Ding, 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 ding. And she changed my life forever. Yes. And then I met Mama B. No, I'm just kidding. Oh! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is the basement. This is the reason why I, you know, never really like to leave the house ever. We look like this. <laughs> hang around here. This is our new family member that we got. Some people have babies. We get a pool table. <laughs> we get a pool table. <laughs> Shot right here. Mobby's the queen of pool in the house. Oh, oh snap! Come over to the almighty. <laughs> and here's our ping pong table. You guys see this a lot. It's usually behind the scenes. You guys know this part here. We filmed a lot of videos behind here. Yeah, shout out to Killer Spin for hooking us up with this ping pong table. Thank you, Killer Spin. Killer Spin. Yeah. Who's the best ping pong player in the house? Me. You. Me. me. No way. Oh, Excuse no way. me. Papa no is the best. <laughs> but, of course, this is Mr. Oh, Beast's favorite room right here. This is the office slash gaming room. Oh man, just how I left it. On my Mr. B channel, I have done a full gaming room tour. If you want to see that, maybe the link will be in the description yes. or you can go to my channel. It's right there. I'll make yes. sure to link Mr. B's video and Mr. B's channel in this yep. video so you guys can check out a full tour of the gaming room. So that's the gaming room. More details down below for you guys to check out Mr. B's channel. He went on a full on tour of the gaming oh, yeah. room. Guys, the Piazos, the Resistance, the last and final room. And the last and final room? Bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. Here it is. Oh, oh, this has changed since two years ago, man. So this is the movie theater. This is where we have our family yeah. movie nights. We have our little like, lighting. We have, yeah, we have the little lighting. We can change the colors and the lights. So this is my favorite room of the house. It's the theater. Comfy, comfy, cozy, rosy, posy chairs. As soon as you get to these chairs, you fall asleep. So the movie better be good. It better be a good movie or else you're going to fall asleep in these chairs. And our family tradition is at the end of all the movies, we clap. clap. And we clap, clap and clap, we dance. Clap, Sometimes we do a little dance party when the movie's yeah. really good. Yeah, when they have good when they're playing the credits, we always go like on the beanbags and we'll just like go crazy. Go crazy, blah, go stupid, blah, go stupid. Sumo beanbags, oh, yes, shout sumo. Out shout out to sumo. Shout out to sumo for giving these lit beanbags that you can go like this. Oh! That right there is a 10 out of 10. Right here, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So one really cool part of the theater are the uh, movie posters that we have and each poster represents each person's favorite movie. So of course, Wonder Woman is Mama B's favorite movie. So there's Wonder Woman right there. And here's Harry Potter, which is both kids' favorite movie combined. So we have to represent Harry Potter right here. And here's Mr. B's favorite movie. You have a lot of favorite movies, but one of your favorite movies, Guardians of the Galaxy. So we got this- done Toy Story. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna have to put a Toy Story poster in here. And here's Miss B's favorite movie movie yes. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I Ratatouille. watched it 38 times. And here's my favorite movie of all time, Back to the Future. Guys, let us know in the comments which one is your favorite movie. And of course we have our one million subscriber plaque in the back there. And our little one. And our little one, the 100. And um, maybe someday we'll get to a 10 million. Maybe someday we'll get a 10 million diamond. Well, there it is, guys. We hope you enjoyed the house tour. After two and a half years, we've made our house our home. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any other videos, please let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, we love you. See you again, guys. Peace. Can you hit the lights? Peace. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the icon on the left and a little thingy will pop up and you get to subscribe. If you already have subscribed, please forget everything that I have just said. It's that voice. It's my radio voice. Bye.